graph g of x equals 2 minus the absolute value of x. We're going to find some function values and plot the corresponding points and draw the curve. Since we have an absolute value sign, this will not be a linear equation. This is not a linear equation. We will not get a straight line. So we'll need several points here. Let's choose some values for x and calculate the corresponding values of g of x. We'll start with x as negative 4. This gives us 2 minus the absolute value of negative 4, which is 2 minus 4, or negative 2. When x is negative 2, we have 2 minus the absolute value of negative 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. When x is 0, we have 2 minus the absolute value of 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. When x is 3, we have 2 minus the absolute value of 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And when x is 5, we have 2 minus the absolute value of 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So the points we want to graph are negative 4, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0, 2, 3, negative 1, and 5, negative 3. And you may choose different values for x. That's fine. Just get enough so you can see the shape of the graph. This is actually an upside down V shape graph. And you connect, draw lines through there to, to draw the curve and label it g of x equals 2 minus the absolute value of x.